The auction house is the center of many late game players' worlds, and is probably the most used NPC in the game. Recently, he brought along some weird creepy guy who seems to both buy and sell every single stackable item known to man, and let him set up camp behind the auction house. Both of these systems are highly convenient in a way or another, but there's a good chance you could be using them more efficiently and even for profit. The links to all the websites I showcase in this video are in the description, and whilst you're reading the description, you can hit the subscribe button whilst you're at it. There are three main ways you can make money using these systems. Auction flipping, bazaar flipping, and auction flipping. That's right, they named two different things by the same word. What is this? The English language? <laughs> Let's start with bazaar flipping because it's the simplest. Bazaar flipping comes in many, many forms that range from long-term investments to short 5-minute ventures, and both can get you absolutely loaded with cash. The simplest way to do it is to look at all the items once in a while and look for a large gap between the buy and sell price of an item. Usually, there are a lot of these items in the combat section, as these items are particularly volatile in nature for whatever reason. Keep placing sell offers at plus 0.1 of the best offer, and then selling them at minus 0.1 of best offer. If a sell or buy offer is not filled after 2 or 3 minutes, it may be worth pulling the offer and putting it back up at the new price. Opportunities like this die out fast, so it's important you identify them and take advantage of them as soon as possible. Do this and you'll be rolling in British word I cannot pronounce. Long-term investments aren't my style, but the process is similar with albeit much riskier. Furry e-boy, can you please stop including your British words I cannot read? Please, everyone's gonna make fun of me now. Predict items that are going to be rising in price. This may be due to a high demand from an upcoming update or leak, and we have two videos about that which you should watch with the little tab on the top right of your screen now. Simply, place an offer, hoard a bunch of items in the chest or the bazaar inventory, and sell them when the price rises for an update. However, you are probably too late to do this if a leak has already come out, so it's all about predictions here. If I were you, I may consider investing in carrots as the collection is largely unfilled. Both forms of auction house flipping involve understanding peak times. Using this website, link in the description, you can see when Hypixel's player count peaks and when it's slow. For these methods to work, you ideally want to buy during the period of time where the player count is dropping and sell when the player count is at its absolute top. The first form of flipping involves improving an item and reselling it later. For example, buying a clean aspect of the dragons at 7am, and also buying max enchant books and 10 health potato books, then combining it all during the day, and setting it to sell around peak time, which is around 8pm for me. You can expect to make a good amount of profit, but be sure to stagger your auction listings by at least 10 minutes. The other form usually brings less profit, but is also much less effort. This website, linked in the description, lets you view average auction prices for any item in the game. I bid on around 5 million coins worth of assorted talismans, hoping to undercut their true value and sell at a later date. I did nothing else and logged off to ride the strip and go to sleep. When I woke up the next day, I claimed the auctions I had won and claimed coins back from the ones I didn't, and held onto the talismans to sell at a later date. For the candy artifacts, I will sell this closer to the spooky event, in the hopes to sell them for 700,000 each, and everything else I will list at peak time, which is unfortunately just before this video is going public, so I can't show you that. I will leave a link in the description to my auction history, so you can view how much these items sold for, and I will also leave this number in the description. No matter how you auction a flip, it's always helpful to have a friend nearby to bid on an item that is going for lower than you paid for it, so you don't lose money and can relist at a later date, or have someone outbid your item so you earn more money. I hope this guide helped you make money or at least improve how you use the auction house. Please subscribe because I will shave my arms on camera at 30,000 subs.